Hello, my gorgeous Virgo. Welcome to this reading. <laughs> why I'm speaking so low, I don't know why. Anyways, season's greetings from London and welcome, welcome to this channel. Welcome to this reading. We are going to have a look at money, manifestation, business, finances, career and all the beautiful things you want and need for. Guess which month it is? Yes, it is December. Indeed. Anyhow, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, especially if Venus is in your chart as a Virgo, this Venus... <laughs> This Venus and that Venus rules the second house of the money. So please check your chart as well, my beautiful soul. Let's find out what is happening for you this month, last month of the year 2023. I do know it is going to be quite a hectic month again, but it's a good month in a good positive way. Uh, anyhow, we will have a look at the beginning, middle and end of the month. Indeed, I have a couple decks here prepared, so we'll find out everything you need to know. Straight away we have, okay, okay, okay. Some clarity is coming your way, okay? You are calling a shot, so you are really calling a straight away, this is it, no more. Uh, we have the Scorpio here kind of really leading you to that transformation and change. And walking away, if you, I love how the tarot actually talks uh, and interacts with one another. It's like a telling a story, like pictures telling a story. What's happening here? Okay, Virgo, you are not just walking or running. You are carving a new path for yourself. And with this King, King of Swords here, you are being very straight and honest with yourself and others. And that is a quality and talent on its own because sometimes what you say not sometimes often when we say something we really think and believe believe strongly comes with the responsibility but somehow you are the winner you know sometimes other business kind of opportunities or products or i don't know sometimes if you look sometimes as well on video hacks on how the videos change how the products change Perhaps you're coming up with something new that is rather um, unusual, perhaps, okay? But it really pays off because people are looking up to you. They're like, wow, where did you come up with this idea, okay? And it could be in a business, it could be creating a product or not even nothing new. It could be as well that you are taking something old, giving a beautiful twist or different packaging, okay? Especially in this month. Okay, it's like really taking old ideas, old talents, old goals, revisit them, give them a little bit of a dusting, okay, new ways of doing it, a bit of adventure, a little bit of kind of different approach or call them different, voila, new product or new something. And that's what I'm feeling here. And it's it's just that one, sometimes that one idea, some one thought leads you to these revolutionary successes, you know, and it's like going some sort of video going viral. That's what I'm feeling here. And I'm just saying this in an in example of YouTube. Okay, that's all I can say. Anyhow, let's dive in. What's happening for the beginning of the month? By the way, thank you so much for being here. When you like, share, and subscribe, and comment, it really helps me to help you. And let's call this energy exchange. Now, universe is giving you massive green light it's not like you're gonna miss it this is gonna be right in front of your face there virgo here is the money here's the opportunity come with me or take this and build something so you have no excuse let me say it again virgo you have no excuse to not succeed okay let's have a look it just jumped out so well. <laughs> um yeah there we are. And it's going to happen quite quick. Oh my goodness. It's where, it's more where you come from. And I feel like this is going to lead you to different road and path that you actually, you did not expect it. Okay. It, look, when we have the star, it's stardom or fame. Okay. So if you do raise to the top, don't forget who helped you and supported you as well. But it does feel like this universe has really helped you and supported you. So um, in a ways to get to that top, okay. And this is like a wish, fulfillment wish. Your wish has been granted. Now, we when we have Virgo here with the, not Virgo, strength card. What I'm talking. Um, there is something that you cannot see. Is something I feel like as well, especially when I'm looking here. You are opening a new path. 
that will um you are not seeing it yet but there is so much to do ahead so roll up the sleeves okay get ready and i feel like you are going to be super busy bunny okay <laughs> super busy bunny this month this that another let alone there's a christmas and god knows what as well okay um yeah it's a busy busy month for you and i do feel like there's some a lot of um creativity creative creative juices flowing around okay that's what i'm feeling okay here we go king of swords twice look you are a smart cookie do not talk down on yourself and when you come with some sort of idea don't question it don't compare with others don't even ask someone else's opinion perhaps go with it be the leader be the someone who makes those shots okay this is your business opportunity and and you can say oh i don't have a business and such and such do you like my <laughs> interpretation of your voice now um what i'm feeling is be more when the cards appear in your reading sometimes this means you need to to have this quality maybe something is lacking maybe you're you're lacking making decisions taking control back on the situation not an aggressive way but having the healthy boundaries telling what you think there's more than way to tell how do you want to say of course but look here you come again again we have the death card okay i have to say you are stumbling across some sort of beautiful foundation and i'm um and i'm not that only you're gonna have a, some sort of reach or peak or point or this could be a lot of income or rewards coming in but you're building something very very beautiful and i feel like with with yourself here and with the four ones it's kind of like building those building blocks okay stability foundation is this the end no far from it but it gives you that, aha, uh -huh, this is what I need to do. This is how I need to do. And you have a lot of passion behind it. There's some sort of passion on what you want or need to do. And opportunities are appearing to you as well. Because the way it happened before, the way you were living before, the way you were perhaps working before, is going to change. And that, my beautiful soul, is a little bit out of your control here. Things are changing. And if you're not changing with it, you're going to be left behind. You've been told <laughs> okay um but i do have a sense that you have some sort of passion for something okay and uh, so listen your intuition listen your heart because look nature has gone direct okay nature is going direct and it was in pisces pisces is very much about intuition so you'll have some inspiration will return you'll have more clearer view on certain things okay and that is so and your intuition will make sense but perhaps you have felt like Maybe you've been doing pendulum or tarot cards or something else and nothing was making sense. No, there was no answers, perhaps. And now they are. Okay. And isn't that beautiful? Let's have a look at the Keeper. What actually, what, what Keeper wants to add for the beginning of the month. Here we are. Busy. Busy, busy, busy. Doing stuff. Being proactive. Okay. And she's, she's enjoying it. Okay. Occupation, something it is to do with your occupation. Is this money reading, by the way? It is indeed. Um, yes. Um, just keep yourself busy, not just silly, but yeah. You're on the right path. Do not procrastinate and do not talk yourself out of it and do not talk yourself down, okay? What middle of the month happening? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Oh, the doubt is creeping in. Okay. I can see. Okay. Dependency. The word dependency is coming in. And you feel like, oh, for me to do this, I need something else. I need this equipment. I need that person. I need accountant. I need something else as well. Something else. Start small this is a card of starting this is not about speed it's not gonna go fast okay and especially when mercury goes in retrograde you might feel that things are actually going backwards but it's not okay uh it is going forward but it has its own pace okay and if you want to speed things up perhaps this is not the right time to speed things up it's a right time just to make things right not make them fast because if you're looking to make a quick buck, it's not you're not you're in wrong either business or you're it's not the right month, baby. It's not the right month, Virgo. 
because that will break your heart. You need to kind of untangle yourself from that insta. And I understand there's a lot of um kind of if you don't make money quick or you know a lot of people don't see how much work goes on behind making videos maybe or making a product and this that another okay there's so much work goes in behind but it will make sense it will make money but it's not overnight success okay for some of you maybe it is but this is something you're building for the future and i'm feeling in the past you've been here before you had this stability okay and the wheel of fortune came in and tangled you and you got so confused and i feel like there's some sort of you dependent on someone's opinion you're dependent on someone's uh what you think how i should be doing and such and such there's a lot of chiefs around okay <laughs> a lot of chiefs around mm -hmm. and no one's doing so I feel like some of you are really considering going solo or doing it on your own. And I would applaud you to that, okay? And I'm not saying to leave a job and stuff. But I feel like some of you want to do something either on the side even, okay? Because there's a feeling of a little bit toxicity towards other people maybe who are involved in business or in in um your workplace okay there's a juggling act going on searching hmm there's a lot of resistance and i'm feeling this is from you sometimes there is a person in your life I want to apply for like this as well. There's a person in your life that is rather flashy and it's rather this and other and they look great and they are great with their giving ideas, you know. But I do feel that not all is what they are showing you, okay. Maybe it's have a second opinion, okay. Don't take every word as a gospel, okay. And I do feel like sometimes either they have agenda because of it, okay. Maybe they're telling you they maybe we're trying to sell you assistance or or some sort of um product or i don't know services and they make oh yeah this one makes this and that and that okay show me the books okay be real and ask because i feel like there's something hidden kind of genders going floating around okay and what you might be missing in that time is something really that makes sense and some sort of offer or some sort of advice okay and I kind of feel like some of you are chasing that quick fame. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong. But the Insta, Insta success um, is in some ways can ruin a lot of qualities. It can ruin a lot of businesses. It can ruin a lot of creative talent. Because if a lot of people think if I don't make this in a week's time, oh, I might as well leave it. That's not the case. Yeah, some of you really want to have that quick, you know. I want to be rich and I want to be... I hear you. It's all good. It's all great. On a paper and in your dreams. But when it comes to reality, in a ways, yeah, things can happen, okay? But I do feel be, be a little bit more realistic. And don't take everyone's word as a gospel. I feel like there's a little bit of um, um, blowing smoke in your face happening okay well this just jumped out okay again confusion and this indecisiveness is kind of stopping you or is this a person so let's have a look at the end of the month what's going on That is so interesting because what you can't see is this Hierophant, Taurus, hello Taurus, maybe you have Taurus in your uh, chart. When I see this card, especially in a business reading, it means that it's about corporations, it's about uh, what you believe, there's some sort of values that you have, integrity, 
but I'm, when I'm talking, and it could be maybe that you want to do um, speeches because he's speaking, he's kind of giving some sort of advice, okay. And maybe something is there, but what I'm feeling here is that maybe there's something that you need to go back for. And what I mean by this is um, maybe use vintage products, vintage ideas, something from the past, which we don't usually tarot, don't recommend go to the past, but this time, it is saying that there's something you could use from the previous other life. And I know in different industries that you worked, something is there that you could use and implement. Okay. Because currently it feels like that you are kind of like, shall I go this way? Shall I go that way? There's uh, so much um, opinions and opportunities or you just kind of got lost a little bit. Okay. And you just want to make, finally, you want to make that decision so you can move forward. Okay. And as as longer you are dwelling on things and analyzing, you go in another round of analyzing and day goes by and then one month go by and nothing's happening. And by the time you know it, it's another year gone. <laughs> okay. And that can really affect you. Let's have a look. Okay. There. Now, I'm going to tell you something that might shock you a little bit. You are do you need to do this on your own. You have you otherwise you give you so much energy away. There's something in your life with regarding money, hold to yourself. And especially if you're doing um energy readings, okay? Energy work or whatever that is, if you're doing it, you know what that means and, and this is for you. There's a green light, but you need to keep to yourself to yourself. And do not overcommit with monies, okay? You don't need too much equipment, okay? Start small and just go for it. Because we have the ace of wands. It's literally there's like a magic magic wand happening. Magic wand's been given to you and he's holding the magic wand. And the opportunity is right. You have the right tools. You have everything you need in front of you. You don't need to invent another wheel. You don't need to invent something else. And I have this feeling that you kind of like, you need to move away from that poor me. Okay, we have the full moon and cancer at the very end, okay, of the month. And it's really kind of saying, don't take yourself too seriously because I feel like sometimes you take yourself too seriously and you start to go into one conversation and really spiraling out, spiraling out in that. There is something you're building. This either this is for a business for your family, is this a house or is it house improvements even as well, or maybe even working from home. Very possible as well. But there you will see, and it could be as well because the Jupiter goes direct at the very end of the on end of the month, on end of the year basically, you'll see more opportunities to improve your finances. Okay. But I do want to stress again that keep yourself to yourself and analyze within yourself don't too analyze it okay but take action and don't go around houses and asking for advice too much especially if the people are themselves you feel like mm, really are they really that successful is this just that they're saying and you can create the fancy pictures and you can create a story on online and it's all good okay but is that the case you need to give yourself a little bit credit more. There is some opportunity coming away. Here we go. Journey. You are moving away from something, okay? Oh, right. Okay. I have to say, you're going to be transforming from a young male to an older man. What, what I mean is this, not that you're changing your gender. What I mean is you're going to grow in this journey, okay? And you're going to be growing. You're going to be learning a lot. And you'll be looking back and saying, oh, wow. If I wish if I knew what I know now, then, but it's not the case. It's, that's how we evolve, right? But enjoy this journey. Don't take yourself too seriously. Be proactive. Don't procrastinate. And dive in. Make decisions. Be like the king of swords. Make decisions. Be the leader. Be like your own boss. Whatever you do, you are in charge. And don't give anyone your power. Don't give anyone your, your energy. Call your spirit back. Pull your energy back and get your mojo back in life, okay? Because next year, baby, next year, I'm telling you, 
it's going to be one heck of a beautiful, beautiful year. So build those beautiful foundations, get yourself back on track and, you know, make you feel a bit better as well. And hey, <laughs> and that's all I have for you today. And yeah, but if you want to stick around this, have a look at the very end, there's a good few videos popping on the screen and, and welcome to my channel. There's a lot of things to explore. You will not be bored indeed, but when you do like and comment and share and subscribe, it helps me to help you. And as I say, it is an energy exchange indeed. All right, love, light and abundance, and I'll see you in the next reading.